There's dirt on my hands Strong like a tree There's roots where I stand Oh, I've been running from the law Hope they won't shoot me down soon Okay. We just got to a camp. Jordan's already working. I am ready to absolutely go. So we will be elk hunting in the morning. This is our first night in Wyoming. I've got two weeks out here, which is unbelievable. So the boys are coming out this coming next Friday. They're going to be driving the truck out, and I flew out today. So Jordan picked me up, and we've got three mule deer tags, two antelope tags, and an elk tag. So me and Jordan are gonna be hunting hard for his elk this week, but uh, yeah, super excited to be in Wyoming. It's nice to be free a little bit. What do you think, Jordan? I'm ready. Look at this. They're gonna bugle in the morning. Look at this mountain man. This Wyoming natural in shorts. Smells elky. Look at that. <laughs> Smells elky, he says. Oh, unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Just can't wait. Spend some time in these mountains. All right, we're gonna get camp set up. We'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. All right, Jordan and I are trying to get on these elk. We got a bunch of elk sign in here, but it's a little old. No bugling yet, so yet. They will. So we'll get them on here today, but it's good to be out here. We'll get them.
Get there and shoot him again. Jordan and I just got done. Dude. I can't Dude. Oh my gosh. Dude, that is the first elk that we called in. The first one. Yeah, the first, first one. Hour. It's not a giant bull, but who cares? It's great in the first his first archery bull. First archery bull. Yeah, yes. That's freaking awesome. Yep. Dude, we come down this. That that bull was sitting right up on top of there. It's just crazy. And somehow he didn't see us. Like we were working up through this elk sign, which looked old. He couldn't have seen me, that rock. I never saw him until he actually committed, started coming Day in. Day one, first morning, not even an hour into it. I mean, we're not even an hour. T was asking me yesterday, she's like, so you gonna hold out for a big one? I was like, depends on what happens, but I'm not gonna turn that down. 38 yards, he was broadside, pulled my shot a little bit, hit him high. So then I got excited, missed him with one, but third one. Got him. Third one, put him down. Yeah, I had to put another arrow in him, but what's crazy about this, guys, is that seriously, I had the elk fan in, in my backpack. And that so this works. elk come up there, and we'll talk about that in here in a little bit. We'll get over and look at the elk, but just, it worked. Cause I mean, I was hiding behind that thing with the video camera. I got the whole thing on camera, the whole thing. So just I unbelievable. Came, came to full draw once, but he'd step behind a tree. I think I got it all. So I let down, <laughs> then he stepped back out, and I mean, he was wide open broadside. There was a couple times I started to draw. I thought you could shoot him right there. But he, he was on the move, I had limbs. Yeah, yeah I definitely got him on the shoulder. Dude. Yeah, you got him shoulder first shot, but dude, you put him right down, like right down. Oh, he's got that, he's got that seven by seven genetics. Oh, Look yeah. at that. that. That first shot was right there, just a little high. Yep. But you got him, let me see him. Dude, that is a funky rat. Yeah, he's a little weird. First archery elk. She is going to be very excited. Yeah. <sighs> Take a seat here for a second, I guess. So Jordan told me that it was going to be like rough and ragged out here. We didn't even make it to where we were going. No. And we seen this bull up there. That's the importance of, we were call calling it, it's super quiet this morning. So we are working our way up real slow up through this where we're stopping and call calling every now and then. And I'm pretty sure, 99% sure that this bull was coming to the cow call. And so we literally, I seen him up there. He was looking at us, um, but luckily I had the old uh, elk fan and we were able to get low. He actually started moving back up the mountain. Jordan can never see him. I, I didn't have eyes on him from the angle I had. Yeah. He was he was filming for about 10 minutes and I'm like, yeah, like what's, what's going on here? Yeah. Like, never saw him until he finally committed and he started working along the ridge. Tried to draw a couple times, but he would step out and look in our direction. So I let down once, tried to draw a second time and he moved. And then I finally had a clear shot at him at 39 yards yeah. it was. And he stopped and he was broadside and- Smoked him. He was going down there no matter what. Yeah. He, he took him yeah, down with his lung shot. That's all lung right there. Hit him a little high with the first one and it put, put him down. So it. I went ahead and put a second one in him just to make it quicker. But there Yeah, dude, be. I mean, one of my favorite things to do in this world is come out and hunt with like really good friends. And Jordan lives in Wyoming, so it's kind of nice to come out here and have a good friend to hunt with. And I would have never expected like we're in a really good unit for him, but and there's a, there's a lot of bulls in here. There's some big ones in here, but uh, I'm not going to turn one down. No, this early that no. walks right in though. No man, I'm here. I'm here for the for the meat in the freezer. This is awesome. Just amazing. I can't believe we got one first out day. I'm not too I, shocked. I told you there's a lot of elk in here. I called that baby right in. Yeah, he was coming. 
wind was perfect. He never had a chance to get our wind. Nope. He kind of caught us out in the open, but. Day one's not gonna have a whole lot of footage unless I get uh, get on some mule deer. Yeah, yeah, that's the plan now. <laughs> well, we gotta get this thing out of here. Well, there's that too. There's that. Yep. So. Which luckily it's all downhill and it's not too far. Nope. So we're gonna get some pictures and uh, get her packed up. All right. <laughs> Unbelievable. We gotta go back, get the rest of it. So, oh. it actually wasn't that bad. We actually plan on going a whole lot further. So, we're good. There we go.